Good morning guys, welcome back to a week in my life vlog. Um, I've kind of gotten out of the habit of filming my mornings, but today um, is not going to be the most exciting part of the vlog. I know you guys probably really want to stay and watch, you know? I'm just like working from home and stuff, but I need to, it's like 6.30 now, I think. I need to wake up a little bit earlier because, um, oh my gosh, I'm like really yawning. I needed to wake up a little bit earlier this morning because I'm recording at 9 actually, which is like pretty early. I have the Celsius in here right now. And I love Celsius and this used to be the one I was obsessed with. I really like Kiwi Guava and the Fiji Apple one. I'm about to take the dogs on a walk and then I'm going to go do, oh my gosh. And then I'm going downstairs to go do the 12, 3, 30 treadmill routine. I started it yesterday. Um, let me know if you guys want to see a like 30 day video. I don't know what to even like film or do for that video. I've already started. So part of me is like, I don't know. But um, I really liked it yesterday. I'm actually like not sore, but normally it's the second day when you're really sore. Okay, it's 6.45. I'm actually going to turn the fan on, which honestly this fan doesn't do much when I'm on the treadmill. You sweat like crazy with this. So I'm not gonna talk about this 24 seven, but I will answer what the 12, 3.30 is. Lauren Geraldo, I believe she made it up, but like she at least made it popular, but I'm pretty sure she like made it up. Um, anyways, you go on the treadmill for 30 minutes at a speed of three and an incline of 12. It's actually a lot harder than it sounds. I did bring this Celsius. We're just gonna try it out, guys, and just see how this works. <sighs> I am so dead. I'm soaked in sweat. It is so much harder than you would think. Oh my gosh, I need to go shower. I need to go shower, like, immediately. <sighs> All right, guys, I just showered and got ready. I'm letting my hair air dry, but it just took me the longest time to pick out an outfit, and I'm still, I'm, like, not obsessed with this one. I wish I had different jeans, because these are just not, like, my most kind of like flattering jeans, I don't know, but I've had them forever and I still wear them all the time. So here we are, um, the top is Revolve. I love this little wrap thing though. I do think that's super cute. I'll have it linked down below and it's awesome when it's really hot because it's like just so open and I'm not wearing a bra with it for those who are gonna ask. I think it's great. These are Levi's. They are at the same time some of my favorite pair of jeans, but I find that they're more flattering, obviously with different shoes, different tops, whatever. These. My point is, I have a pair of jeans that are dirty that would have been better with this outfit. And then I just have these like black sandal mule type things. I think this bag today, I do have errands to run later. So I think that this is gonna end up, I don't know, maybe I'll switch bags. I don't know about this. All right, honestly, I'm not hungry at all right now. I did come downstairs to make some breakfast and do my Devo, but I'm just not hungry. play Frank Ocean in my office. This thing makes me drink so much more water. I need my hair to dry. I'm getting it cut this week because it's just way too long. Oh. So I am recording a podcast this morning in eight minutes. Okay. Doc, stock, stocks. I have just like the Apple keyboard, which I really, really like, but it's not connecting to my iPad now and I've like reset it and everything and I think like there's like a little bit of stuff on the sensors, but I like can't get it out. So this is basically just like being used as a case, but I really want to figure it out. I really miss using that keyboard. Maybe all about like finances and shows like a very healthy approach. If you guys haven't seen the new documentary Outcry, it's really good. Um, I actually am having Greg and his wife on, which I'm so excited. I'm recording that this week. There's a lot of things that I've been doing. I did a ton of outreach last week. They're gonna say, oh, and this morning, it's Monday. So this morning, a new diva went up on the living room. If you guys are interested in any faith content, Subscribe to the living room. I have the living room, which is a like monthly faith content subscription service. I will have it linked down below. It's so fun. You guys don't want to miss out. This is the outfit I've decided I'm going with. I'm in a rush. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, I'm not wearing a shirt. It is Tuesday morning. Um, this morning, Q and I had like a little coffee date. We went into devotion. By coffee date, I mean, you know, like Starbucks drive through what's new. I'm finally over, I think my ice dirty chai kick, which is great because it's like just sugar. I've been editing. I've been trying to also get the dogs to cuddle with me and Coco, literally, she's always sitting next to me like, any given time this dog is like right next to me and then fits is normally just on the tile here he is right now Okay, so this is my outfit the tag is showing here and that drives me insane But my favorite misguided crop tops. I'll have them linked down below guys I got this in a different color as well that I wore in my last weekend of my life vlog and They are the best quality and just like the best crop top tees. I love them 
Then I have my favorite outdoor voices like biker shorts, which I recently linked because they put them back on the site on my Instagram. I'll see if I can link them. They kind of go on and off the site, but they're just like the best shorts ever, especially for running. Then I have my Yeezys on. I haven't worn my Yeezys in so long. Like these are so dirty, but um, <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Okay guys, I just recorded with Allie Williams of Right Up Your Alley, and it was everything I ever needed to hear more. I was just really down and I've been so hard on myself recently and I've just been comparing myself so much and like, I don't know, I'm like hyper emotional right now and I'm just, I don't know guys, I'm really like truly all over the place and like my mental health has been a struggle this year for sure, but it, that was literally everything I could have ever needed. I love her, I'll have her Instagram down below, but also random, if you guys are in LA, she is starting this like really, she is starting like a flower truck. It's gonna be in a Bronco and it's like selling sell flowers and you guys know me and flowers love them But if you guys live in LA, you should check it out. So I'm making sure this recording downloads and then um, I'm heading off to go to Ikea with Sav because Zoom I will send you a link um, You guys can probably just tell in how I'm talking right now that I'm in the much better Sav and I are back at Ikea. This guy looks really pretty. This is quite the outing. Um, very exciting, everyone. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. Oh yeah, we went to Chick-fil-A. I forgot to vlog. I, yeah, I just keep eating Chick-fil-A. We love that. Dallas. This one really takes me back, guys. I actually just remembered that I need to get more frames. <laughs> okay, no, I only need one for this new print that I got me and Alyssa and Maddie. Let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, Can see? That no, that's the problem. Uh, yes, no, literally. I said, never give up. And I said, they always said they have one in stock. Right, this is definitely it. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, yes. No, it's for sure. There's four. The website lied to me. Let's see. Here we go. Is it heavy? No. Is that it? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, it is, yeah. I'm positive because it's thicker on the bottom. Yeah. <gasps> me and my mirror. I should have got a card. No, I can carry this. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm shocked. Okay. I need 12 through 30. <laughs> do you even know what that is? No. So I chop routine now. Oh, Another okay. girl made it up. And now I do it. Here's the mirror. Ow. It's <laughs> beautiful, I don't know. Exciting things are happening. Just don't want me. I'm trying to see if this uh <gasps> oh yeah, it's not gonna fit. I'm gonna test out one fake plant just to see how I feel about it. I know I need more green in the house, but uh. Ow, ow. I'm just not a green person. Oh, I'll never have. You okay? Yeah, I just gotta start things fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come back. Um, I'm not sure yet because, guys, I found the real plants and they're actually cheaper, so. What do you think about this one, Sav? Because they're not broken off. I like it. How do we feel about this one? A little more. Let me look. Ooh. We have a lot of plants. Yeah, now that we just uh, moved into IKEA. All right, guys, I'm getting a plant. We're just hoping for the best. Well, thank God. Okay, one. These aren't even bad. Okay. I'm back home. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a few things. So I got a package from Queen. They have granola butter. So. This one is vanilla, there's chocolate, blueberry, and an original. I'll let you guys know how I like it. And then, um, okay, I don't, is it gold, goldie, gold day? I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm actually having the founder on the podcast next month, which I'm really excited for, but for the best things about this brand, so I picked up some stuff. I have their superfood latte blend, which I'm really excited to try, as well as their papaya bright exfoliating face mask, which looks amazing, love that. And then, I didn't even know this package was coming, so I'm assuming they probably got my address to my management, but we have a cacao powder and then cacao sweet nibs, which is, looks actually like really, really freaking good. And then I also picked up two pairs of sweatshorts from the Mayfair group. I got the Self Love Club ones. I want the matching crew. I want every set. I honestly, if I had every single set, that's probably all I would wear. Love these. And then I think I have a black pair coming as well. I'm pretty sure I ordered two, but these look so comfortable and I cannot wait to just basically live in them. Guys, look at how big he is. I cannot get over it. Ready, Fitz, pound it. Pound it. Fitz, pound it. Okay, well he actually does know how to do it. Oh, he's giving me sass. Do you wanna go work out? 
Oh, his hat. Oh, he loves the camera, guys. He really, truly really does. He's so big, though. I can't get over it. And Coco is so small. Okay, I'm off to do day three of 12 through 30 and then shower. Talk to you guys soon. All right, just finished day three, guys. I literally just died. Oh my gosh, it is so much harder than it seems, especially after you have Chick-fil-A for lunch, but whew, I'm in a shower. Okay, so I showered, self-tan, it worked out. We had a really good Zoom Bible study. I door dashed a smoothie. I know we're all shocked, guys. This is really like my 2020 thing, I guess. Fitz is just always found either on the tile or I leave their um, like doors open so they can go back to like their beds and stuff and he's just in there. But I'm like, don't you want to hang out with me? And he just is, he's already too cool for me. He's already reached this teenager phase where he's over me. So, okay, boy. You are so cute. You eat so much food. You guys should actually see the amount of food he eats per day. It's actually insane. I just had to force Fitz to hang out with me and I just begged him to come up here and let's see if he actually does. Hi, boy. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. Anyways, this is like my dream night. I have a smoothie. I'm going to read for the next few hours and go to bed. Just if the dog's on a little walk and... Oh, you are so cute. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Okay, it is 6, like, 30. I just woke up and my face is puffy. I want to take you guys through kind of like my morning skincare routine and also show you um, some of the Dr. Jart products that I've been using that I got for my weekend of my life vlog. Honestly... This stuff, the tiger grass calming mist, I'm gonna put this on first even though I normally don't. Um, this stuff is incredible. I've never had a mist be so moisturizing. It's so good. Also, if you guys struggle with redness, this line will save you. If you really want something to kind of cancel out your redness, get the jar, I'll link that down below too. Um, but like so good. I've struggled with redness like my entire life and that like this line is the only thing that's ever helped me. Probably the first thing I do, I use the Ordinary. This is their squalene. It is so hydrating. I want a humidifier guys. Let me know if it's worth it. Um, but I normally do like two pumps which is a lot of oil honestly. And I bring it all over my face and then down my neck. So now I will take, guys, I never can remember how to pronounce this when I'm filming. Um, starts with a G. I'll have it linked down below. Um, and I will just kind of like massage my face out. It makes the biggest difference. I start with my neck normally. because I always go and walk the dogs and I just love wearing this day to day. It's a super goop glow screen. As you know, it's like literally my top favorite product of 2020. It really is. So good. Um, and then I put my sunscreen on and I kind of just let this sit and soak into my skin because obviously it's like really oily, but I always bring everything down uh, my neck and to my chest. That's kind of like what I do in the morning that I've really been liking. I've definitely noticed a huge difference in just the way my face looks. All right, so this is my outfit. I just had this tank top from Misguided on. That is way too cropped. And then I have my favorite skirt from Outdoor Voices. This is their court skirt. I Court skirt, sorry. I will have it linked down below, but it is just so cute and flattering and like fun and oh, it's just great. I'm just going on like an early morning coffee run, uh, like date with Q again today. I got new cute sne white sneakers that I love so much more, but I stained them uh, when I was making bolognese the other night. So I need to clean those. I just bleached them yesterday. Updates to come. All right guys, I'm going to do a taste test for the coconut colt. Again, I got this in my last vlog. This is a probiotic coconut yogurt and the chocolate mousse. This like little thing is $10 or it was at Fitz has his bone. It's definitely like pricier. My mom always tells me that I need to have probiotics. They use 16 potent probiotic strains. Um, it's organic coconut cream, organic coconut nectar, organic cacao, custom probiotic blend. So you're supposed to start with a couple tablespoons and then go from there. Like actually really, really good. That is incredible. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 
who loves attention, have no idea where he got that from. Probably Quentin. Definitely not me, right Fitz? I feel like I'm a mom getting my kids ready for school. And also like, what do I do? Because Fitz just gets his water bowl everywhere and he like puts his paw in the bowl and then now there's water all over my floors and I clean them every day. Okay, anyways, I'm making toast and I'm going to use the Queen granola um, butter. I just did my Devo, same one as always. Um, and I am uploading, doing some final touches on today's podcast episode for The Living Room. If you guys didn't know, The Living Room is this faith subscription service that I just recently started. Oh my gosh, this lighting is like really something. Um, basically, it's like faith-centered content. Podcast style episodes, um, like videos, devotionals, Q and A, like all that stuff. Q and I did an episode together on that where we're like very open in that, which is like way more open. I feel like I'm already really open on the internet, but um, we're way more open on the living room just cause I feel more like safe there. Then I need to do some final touches on the weekend of my life vlog that's going up today. But now it's like not showing, oh, up, resume upload. Come here, look, are you so excited? Yes. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah? Oh my gosh, I need to take this bag off. So we're going to pick up Q and Fitz is coming along for the ride. Um, we took Coco last time, so it's his turn now. Also, this podcast is so good. This is what I needed. Cause I always get really, <laughs> I think especially right now, it's really hard to not get like really angry at people you don't believe. I think specifically like just in the times that we're in right now, but this has given me a little bit better of a mindset and like how to deal with that. I don't know, it's been really, really good. We are on our way to, have you seen the trolleys or whatever? Did I say that? Well, maybe oh, really? in December. Yeah, that's just a West Village thing, um, uptown. But actually it's just an uptown thing. It's not even West Village. But anyways, we are on our way. We we're on our way to Lala and Oakland because this is Quentin's favorite one. It's a new one. And so Q got his way, who was surprised, you know? I think the way she worded that, she was like, what should we do in the morning? I was like, let's go to Lala and Oakland. Okay. Oakland. Oakland. I said Oakland. You said Oakland. I'll play it back. Let's go to Lala and Oakland. Okay. No. I promise you, Oakland. you did. No, I I literally I, I Raiders. I literally filmed this. So, anyways, this corksicle thing, guys. By the way, I got it and I got one for Alyssa for her birthday because she loves corksicle, and I really really like it. Also, just being out in the morning and driving somewhere, I'm like driving kind of close where my management's office is. It just like makes me feel like I have purpose again. <laughs> like you know, like actually being able to do things and live life and you know not be like terrified of everything 24 7 you know cute it's so pretty yeah, you know, here. it's your life what you're gonna do the world is watching you every day the choices you make guys i wish that make um, that song i wish that as we were driving you guys could see around us dallas is just so cute and pretty in it but at the same time <laughs> i would like to keep it a secret gem you know Look. he looks like an angel back there he's a stud he's so good this is not biased not. because every single person Thanks who has seen fear. Fitz on our morning walks has confirmed this. Fitz is the most beautiful dog they've ever seen. Yep. He's a stud. He is beautiful. I'm very proud of him. And he's so unique too because he's like, does not look like a normal golden doodle. I know. His he's coat could be stuck. totally different though. Like it could be like super curly or like whatever. I knows? hope it's super curly. I hope it's, I like the coat he has now. I don't even want that to change honestly. It's, you can do whatever you want, buddy. You're just a stud. Yeah, you're just a stud. All right, guys, we made it. So cute over here. They even have the yellow truck. Come on, boy. Oh my gosh, such a silly pup. Love it, huh? 
Okay guys, very exciting. My new mirror. I love this mirror. It was $100 from Ikea. Um, that's a really good price for a mirror. It is so cool. I'm sorry that it's shaky. Oh. It's probably so annoying, but it's thinner up top and then it gets thicker on the bottom, which I think is so cool. Love that. My um, plant is actually in my office. Coco, how do you feel about this mirror, huh? What do you no. think, girl? Don Cam. My video will Fits the golden up. dude. Hey. Oh. Are you getting your ear, buddy? <gasps> He's so handsome. Oh, yeah, you're a stud. Oh, yeah. Look at that flexibility. Could he be a gymnast? Maybe. <laughs> Fitz? Hi, buddy. Say hi. Okay. Let's Where are we going? Well, I'm dropping you off, and then I'm going to favor the kind. Okay. This is a big day. Is she going to come back with a lot of dolly gear? I own everything, I think, Dolly, besides the kids' books of Run with the Kai. She says this, but I would put a bet down that you're going to come back with besides Dolly stuff. Besides the $400 pillow. Besides the... <laughs> besides the... Is it a $400 pillow? That, pillow? that Dolly Parton pillow at Favorite the Kai is $3.98. I saw it on the website because I was linking stuff in my vlog. That's crazy. Yeah. Fitz, did you see yourself in the mirror, buddy? Come here. Come here, buddy. <gasps> is that you in the mirror? Fitz, is that you in the mirror, buddy? Fitz. Okay. We're off. I love you, buddy. My mom made a favor of the kind. They were so nice and they wanted me to come in today and they're giving me a gift card just to do some shopping. I'm realizing now as I'm driving that I'm definitely missing my turn. My mom made a favor of the kind and then after that I have to, I have another podcast recording for actually tomorrow's episode. It's a really quick um, like turnaround. I'm so close to graduating and it has never been more apparent than in how I'm treating my summer classes. Like it is awful. So. I'm gonna sit down and do that and my friend Sydney is coming over tonight for dinner so I'm gonna make us dinner I really want to make banana bread too because um, I literally have it all quarantine and like we're not even technically in quarantine are we are we not I know everyone made a banana bread but I didn't and I'm just not getting on it. I just did a little Instagram story haul I had credit from them and then I also just kind of splurged a little bit. Honestly, I just spend so much time in favor of the kind and I've been wanting these pieces, so I was like, why not? First thing I got is this pause book. It's like a weekly reflection book, which I thought was cute and good for Sundays, so I really want to try um, to do this on Sunday nights in bed, and I also think it's just really cute decor for just around the house wherever. And then I also got this perfume. She told me that this is like Labo. It's just a cheaper alternative, basically. She's like, the scents are very, very similar. So. I picked this up. I've been wanting a new set anyways, and it smells so good. So I will have this linked down below because I'm really excited about it. Then I got this set, and this is from the brand, shoot, sorry, Sweet Lovely. Yes, it's just a tie-dye set, and I'm honestly kind of over tie-dye, but here we are. I just got another set, but it's just so soft, and I thought it would be great for like loungewear slash honestly like pajamas just around the house. I'm honestly going <laughs> to throw this on right now just because I want to be comfy and then guys this is what I'm the most excited for I have wanted these pajamas for the longest time okay I look at them every time I go in the store and I finally just did it okay I love matching pajama sets like any brand ever that has matching pajama sets hit me up okay love you forever really but these are just really cute and they're like exactly the kind of look I want for pajamas I didn't I just think that they're the cutest things ever. This is the brand 80,000 and they're perfect for summer too because they're not warm or anything, but I just think that these are like literally the cutest pajamas I've ever seen. So that is what I picked up from them. I will have everything linked down below. Also, I get asked all the time where the Dolly Parton mug is from. That's also favor of the kind um, and I'll link it down below again, but yeah, I'm really excited. I have a podcast recording in a little bit over an hour, so I think I'm gonna go Eat some lunch, some of the salad that I have in the fridge, and then go upstairs and get to kind of start prepping for that interview. I just want to say this is the best thing ever. I grew up eating this all the time because my mom used to make it, but it is the best thing ever if you're working from home and you want to prep lunch because you can make lunch for like three days and it only gets better the longer it sits. I mean, past three days, don't eat it, but it's mozzarella balls, tomatoes, which you can do sugar plum as well, but I just decided to chop some up and then cucumbers, but it is so freaking good and it's really refreshing which is really nice as well all right guys i just changed into the tie-dye set and it is so soft oh my gosh like 
incredible so freaking soft i'm like so comfortable gonna go do this recording and then work as we know okay also this plant guys i just like potted it yesterday and i haven't i literally threw it in here because this is the only room that fitz doesn't really come into and he's gonna like kill this plant i beg him to come in my office with me and he just for some reason does not like this room he comes in here the least even when i beg him to so i put the plant in here um obviously i'm gonna like move it and whatever but i just have it here for now i think it looks cute it's definitely not tall enough to put in my bedroom where i like originally wanted to but it's definitely a great plant, guys. I'm finally going to try this Stumptown coffee. It looks really good. Um, Nastia loves these. And then I saw them um, at the store. So I picked one up. I'm going to try it. Sid is coming over at 7. So we'll do that. I'll probably start cooking around like 6. The Stumptown coffee was actually like so good. I just like really, really loved it. Also, I'm really curious. Who, people who watch my vlogs. Um, what are things that you think I could do to make the vlogs better? What are things that you think I do? Okay, this is driving me insane that these are all messed up. Um, what are things that, I don't know, constructive criticism I would love. Also, do you guys like just the all white style? Because I feel like sometimes I watch my vlogs and I feel like cluttered, if that makes sense, even though my house is clean, just cause there's like stuff going on. I also do have a lot of all white as well, but, or do you guys like find it boring? Do you know what I mean? Not that this matters because it's not, I'm not going to like change my house, but I'm just wondering because I feel like people only ever want to see like really clean white things and then I don't actually feel like that's always the case, but you guys let me know. Just um, topic of discussion. <sighs> so I just finished the docuseries. It was really, really good. I'm like kind of emotional, which I think I'm just emotional because it's what Cindy's coming over and I'm cooking her dinner. She wants bolognese because I haven't made it for her yet. So, I'm getting out the ingredients for it, and I'm going to listen to a podcast. I've mentioned before, and I'll probably talk about it later in the vlog a little bit more, but I feel like I've just been really struggling with, like, not feeling like I'm doing enough or becoming enough or, like, just being really, really hard on myself and then also comparing myself. So, it's just, like, not a good combination that we have going for me. Um, anyways, I'm going to listen to Lauren's new podcast episode and cook because both of those always put me in a better mood. And then Sydney will probably be here in like 30. So then I'm gonna hang with her. And then I walked outside to take the pups on a little walk. And this was on my doorstep, which is just the best thing ever. So this is the Healthy Kombucha Booch Pop. I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna try, I think maybe the Palm Berry one tonight. We'll see, but I'm literally so excited. And that is 100% brows. It's a whole thrill. That is not Guys, right, isn't that so cute? Good morning, guys. It is Thursday morning. I am on my way to La La Land again. Um, surprise, surprise. I'm, I'm getting coffee with Liz. I think I'm actually gonna get coffee and not even a strawberry field this time. It's crazy, I know. Anyways, I am supposed to be recording today, but they're on hotel Wi-Fi, so I'm kind of expecting that to not work because um hotel wife had to stick on the strong normally i have therapy and then like a list of to do's and stuff but guys i decided this morning i think i'm gonna take a break from social media this weekend and delete it off my phone and just have a really good relaxing weekend but i just like deeply deeply need this i've mentioned this before but i have just been like so hard on myself lately. I listened to Lauren's podcast last night and I just finished it this morning on like shitting yourself. So it's like should being yourself. I just put like a really heavy expectation. I think I just walk around and feel kind of heavy because I feel like I should be doing more than I am or I should be becoming more than I am or whatever. And I just feel like trapped. And then I also am like comparing myself really bad and just like really bad on myself. And I think I kind of want to make an entire video on this, but at the same time, like, as of right now, I don't really know what to say, because I feel like I've, I have, like, good tips and tricks to when, like, you start to compare yourself, like, how to stop, but also, this is, like, definitely the worst I've ever dealt with it, and I just feel like I'm not ever doing enough, and I'm, like, I don't know if this will, so, like, I'm not ever doing enough, and I feel like I want to do all these things, but I can't, because obviously COVID, and, like, blah, 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 and that's totally fine, but... It's just like, I don't know. I, I miss when I was like way more focused on my own 
lane and it's not even that I'm like envious of people or um, like want them to not succeed like I'm so happy for other people it's not that it's just that I feel like I should to be there I guess but I just miss when like this wasn't a big problem in my life and like I um, just like really recognize it's like we all have our own lanes and like we're all gonna have different times where like some of us are popping off and then there's gonna be another time where like another one's popping off and whatever but I've just been like so unbelievably hard on myself and it's just like really not good as we know I don't know I'm just rambling and I don't want you guys to feel like I'm like being negative or complaining either I know there's like so much else going on in the world right now that like you probably just want to go to a YouTube video and like have a good time I don't know but I have to do an Instagram live with year of ours tomorrow and daylight and then after that I think I'm just gonna delete all the social media apps from my phone just for the weekend I used to do this regularly too and I haven't been doing it but I just want to be a lot more focused on like who I'm becoming and myself without having to see like everything else around me and putting like pressure on myself that was like pressure that was never meant to be there this is like such a normal human thing experience I know but it's just like not been the best I don't know and it's like really been affecting me I mean there's been like so many things that have been affecting me and I've just been so down lately but um that's definitely high on the list so I'm gonna do that and then I think I'm gonna like expedite through a bible study or something this weekend too um and just like really really chill and then hopefully there will be a vlog week next week if I'm feeling better So I just finished being a little florist over here. This one needs to be like fixed and so does this one. I'm not the best, okay? But I saw someone on Instagram put roses with hydrangeas and I thought it was fun. So that's what we have. And then this will go upstairs in my room, which is perfect. Currently making avocado pudding, the one that Kourtney Kardashian loves. I just realized that honey might get stuck up there. But it's so easy. I'm making an Instagram reel. So if you guys want the recipe, you guys can just go to my Instagram. Just made avocado pudding. Um, it's actually pretty good. I had to use whole milk just for the integrity of the recipe, and I never use whole milk. So I'm sure you can use a milk alternative. I just wanted to like really test it out because that's what it said online. Um, but I made an Instagram reel of it. So you guys can just check out my Instagram if you guys want to see how I make it. Okay, guys. So I just recorded a Devo for Monday for the living room. So if you guys haven't joined the living room, you need to. Link below. I've been listening to a bunch of podcasts. My recording actually did get pushed, which is actually nice because I have therapy at one on Thursdays. And I normally don't like to like have to have human contact and like do an interview and be really on after that. I think I'm going to make banana bread and then get to my to-do list that I just like keep putting off. Mm -hmm. 